645 this morning. I just got done updating the KRGV weather app, so I'll show it to you. And just a reminder that you can get this forecast anytime on the go because we're all busy and sometimes we don't have time to sit down and watch TV. Don't worry. We keep this app updated throughout the day. We post videos on it. We update daily forecasts and the hour by hour forecast. So if you opened up the app, you can follow me right now if you want. Mostly sunny much of the day. Now, eventually, I'll call it partly cloudy this afternoon because eventually we're going to get some puffy cumulus clouds, but it's mainly going to be like this background, wispy cirrus clouds throughout the day. So mostly sunny much of the day. And I know it's chilly this morning. 8 a.m. 53, 10 a.m. 65, but look how much of the day is going to be in the 70s. 75 at noon. At lunchtime, you're going to be taking the jackets off. We're going to top out in the upper 70s. Probably our highest temperatures will be about 3 o'clock this afternoon, probably around 78. And then this evening, as soon as the sun sets, it's going to kind of get chilly again. We're going to go from 75 at 6 o'clock to 66 at 8 o'clock. So you'll take the jackets off, but you're going to put them back on if you're going out tonight. Ultimately, we're going to cool down to 55. So it is going to be chilly, but not as chilly as last night and a big reason why a little bit more cloud cover much of the night partly cloudy but the cloud cover as they will today is going to continue to increase and eventually late tonight skies will become mostly cloudy but no chance of rain the winds not much just five miles per hour not much wind during the day today either unlike yesterday yesterday was breezy today not breezy winds only around 10 miles per hour now let's talk about the weekend starting on saturday the vamos golf tournament if you're having early tea time here we go again Jackets in the morning, taking the jackets off in the afternoon. Again, by noon, 73 in McAllen. 5 o'clock, 77. We're going to be in the upper 70s tomorrow as well. Now, one thing I will mention, tomorrow is not going to be as pretty. It looks like most of the day is going to be mostly cloudy with just a little bit of sun, a lot of clouds around. It may look like rain, but there is no rain in the forecast. And there's not going to be much wind tomorrow. So golfers, don't blame that wind on your bad shots. That's all you. Sorry to say. If you're slicing and hooking it, there's not going to be much wind. Now, I do think on Sunday it gets breezy. By the way, we've got to talk about the island because this is the most crowded the island has been in months because for some, spring break is starting. So beware for those of you who don't like the spring break crowd. It's coming. I think it'll probably be more next weekend. But if you're participating, in spring break. Note, this is always the tricky thing about spring break this time of year. It's still kind of cool out the island. The island's going to be the coolest place this week on Saturday, 70 degrees. Sunday, 72. Mostly cloudy Saturday, partly cloudy Sunday. No chance of rain, but a little bit more wind on Sunday. So what does that mean planning wise? Not too much wind. It's still just breezy, but gusts will reach up to 25 miles per hour Sunday afternoon. So for planning purposes, if you're wanting to pick a day, to go out to the island. I recommend Saturday because just a moderate chop for boating on Saturday. It will be choppy on Sunday. There will also be a few rip currents on Sunday, but watch out. If you get in that water, you better be ready because water temperatures are in the mid 60s. We'll be right back after this break.